guys, so I decided I wanted to do another Game of Thrones inspired hairstyle and I picked Danny. Um, this is the scene, or this is the hair from the scene where she is eating the horse heart. Yeah, um, the first time I saw this, I was really convinced that they were all sort of um, waterfall braids. I hate waterfall braids, I think they're pretty, I just hate doing them, my hair hates them. Um, so that's kind of why I haven't done this before, but um, I've been re-watching the episodes and as it turns out this isn't actually um, waterfall braids, as far as I can tell at least. So um, you definitely want to start off on freshly <laughs> detangled hair. And um, it's actually sort of two braids pulled back and then the braids here on the bottom I think that they're Dutch lace braids, I'm not totally sure. Um, so this is just going to be an inspired look, it's not going to be spot on, I'm sure. But um, I'm going to do the best that I can and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm pretty sure she had a center part, but um, I'm going to part my hair not just down the center, but like all the way back, like as if I were doing pigtails. I'm going to do the first braid. And that is Gather. I don't know. She always has hair hanging in her face. That's um, up to you guys. If you want to do that, you can pull pieces out. I don't like hair in my face, so I'm just going to pull it all back. Just to do a regular braid. Going back. For now, I'm just going to use a clear elastic to tie my braid off. But honestly, you can use whatever you want. Um, I braided as far down as I could go. Um, just to kind of hold the hair in place because I don't want it to mix with the second braid on this side of my head. Now to get it out of my way, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to use a clip while I kind of work with this bottom section. Now what I noticed about her hair in this scene is that there's like a little bit of hair that kind of hangs in the back. Like it all sort of gets connected into like one ponytail right here at the, the back of the neck, but then there is hair that hangs down kind of like that isn't part of this updo. I don't even know what, how to explain what I mean. It's kind of hard to tell what it was. It definitely looked like some sort of a lace braid with the hair being added in from the top section, but um, it wasn't being added in consistently. It looked like she was, her braid was like braided like two passes, then that had a strand of hair being added in, braided two passes, had a, str a strand of hair braided in. Um, my hair's kind of thin, I don't have stylists, <laughs> so um, I'm probably just going to settle for doing a lace braid with hair being added in from the top, like from the top. It's a pretty big chunk. add hair from the top into the top strand. I've got some hair hanging down didn't get added into the braid, but um, I left it because that's kind of what she's got. Right now I'm going to just use a little clear elastic to hold it. braids in the front, kind of the braids in the back with like hair that's not been added to mention this. Um, I noticed that in the scene she had like black hair ties and uh, I've got black scrunchies so I'm gonna try and wear them the same way that she had hers in. She probably, it was probably like suede or material or something but um, black scrunchies pretty close. So bring them to the back of your head in the center, you can, and just, just unbraid them. These for a 
second. Look at that. This piece, this loose piece, was kind of pulled taut between these two pieces and then they were tied on top of it. So I'm just going to do this to kind of hold it all in place for a minute. Well, if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know if it made sense to you guys what I'm doing, but... And the same thing happens with these braids. You have to kind of take the elastic out and ravel them a little bit and then tie them together. So I've got my elastic on my wrist. this little piece here to kind of go inter like to be intersected that's why I put that extra ponytail in so there you have it this is my very very inspired loosely inspired by the scene Daenerys Targaryen um, hair <laughs> she always has like this sort of scraggly hair that's not really in her braid um, so I tried to imitate that. If you want to be a little bit more authentic than I am, you got to pull some of the pieces around your face out. But um, as I said, I don't like hair in my face. So uh, yeah, that's kind of it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was close to what you were trying to achieve yourself. Um, if any of you actually know how to accomplish the braid that she had in that scene on the lower half of her head, um, please let me know. I'd love to learn how to do that. And um, yeah, that's it. I'll see you all in my next video. So I just wanted to say one more thing before I leave um, <laughs> this video. I braided the rest of my hair that was all hanging down loose because it is freezing outside today in New York. And uh, yesterday I zipped my own hair up in my coat. It was excruciating. I had to literally pull strand by strand of my hair out. So um, I'm about to go pick up my daughter and I realized that half my hair is down and I don't want that to happen again. So I did a braid and uh, look, it actually is really kind of cool. I just used all of the hair that was hanging down plus the ponytail. I divided it in three, made a braid. I kind of like how the, um, the elastic is part of the braid. I don't know, I just wanted to show you guys that so there's like a different way to wear this too. Okay, now I'm really done. I will see you later. Bye.